Shalom Aleichem, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem from this wonderful place in the world. This is the Holy Land of Israel. Words that uh, comes out of the heart must be expressed. We believe in the great light that the Creator is uh, sending, shading upon us and we're enjoying it. Yesterday I explained a little bit again how a person is putting his heart to observe and to look into his physical reality and even though we are experiencing certain um, constrictions under limitations of time and place, borders and judgments, we also in deep ways able to understand that the Creator is way beyond even the infinity of this world. In this world there is a great opportunity for human beings to connect themselves to their Maker by looking deep into the microscope and understanding that the travel into details is never-ending, thinking about the consequences of every act any act of ours, talking to a person or helping a person or doing something good, can see and realize by that observation, by looking and thinking about it, how far it will get and how high and will express the real infinity and true nature, endless nature of our Maker in our own lives. But there is much more to it. And the world is reflecting that knowledge to us. But in any case, that is a great reward that will wait for those ones who will gain it in the future to come. And not even in the world to come, just only in the time of redemption. The connection of ours to those highly aspects of creation is basically based only on truth. Now, truth is something very mysterious and very deep, very highly and very big, but in the same time very simple and right under our noses. The truth, what the truth is, great questions that people will ask about the purpose of life, about the essence of life, about what is, what is the right and perfect path of Hashem, what is the will of Hashem. All those highly concepts are true, that we should ask those questions and that we should aim to the answers, highly answers to those questions. But there is a truth that is also similar to the truth that is highly in its importance. And it is the reality that we live in. And that is the beginning of truth. That you say the truth, that you live by the truth. That if you feel that you messed up or that you're failing, you're going to admit that truth and you're not going to live your life in deny. That if you feel that you did something wrong to a person, you will go approach that person, apologize to him, explain your lacking, your fault. And open your heart and be truthful, be loyal. If you took something that does not belong to you, you need to pay back, you need to bring it back. And even if you don't know how to do it, pay one dollar a day, pay one dollar a week, ten, ten dollars a week. Decide how you are able to reveal the truth of your true responsibility on the situation. The description of reality that is based on truth, like for an example, that this house is not mine, I'm just renting it and I pay rent to the homeowner of that house, that's the truth. So the description of the fact that I live in this house in a certain way is inside the letters of the true description of my reality. And if in a relationship you have an issue with your husband, you have an issue with your friend, you something happened and he said or they said, she said, something happened, the real description of what really took place and happened in letters 
is the way that the Creator is shining His light upon us through the letters. So in good actions, the, the description of them will be used with certain letters, certain combinations that are coming from certain Torah portions that are describing mitzvot and good actions by doing good things that are described by the truth in good words, in holy and positive descriptions. When we are bringing that kind of work and holy life, by that we're pulling illumination through the highly and holy letters of the Torah that are shining upon us a beautiful and relaxing and healing light. If you have a lot of descriptions about flowers, about nature, about grass, about trees, about bushes, about whatever, you have those explanations. That one is green, that one is greener, that has tiny leaves, that one has triangle leaves, that one has purple flowers, that one has white flowers, every one of them has a description, that name, the name of that one is being called in the, in the mouths of people, in this name, in that name, grows in that country, in that weather. All those true descriptions are written in letters, the letters of truth, the letters that will re reflect the true description of the, that aspect of life, of creation. And all those letters will also be include, included in the higher letters, like the letters of the words, um, um, crops, flowers, trees, prachim, etzim, tuvuah, minei dagan, certain words that are coming from verses that are the foundation, that they are the root of the illumination of all colors into flowers, all shapes into leaves and into branches and into trunks of trees. All the illumination is coming down in channels like through pipes, like through, um, through the branches of the tree, the oak of life. And like that trees found themselves spreading in the world by the wind or by people during the history, and they found their way into your garden, also the description and the tale of that true history is, is it is what it is. It, it's the true description of what it really took place, that Johnny took that lemon tree and picked three lemons and took it with him to New Jersey, and now he planted lemon trees from the land of Israel in New Jersey, in his back, backyard. So. That is the true description and the illumination of life, of the Torah, of Hashem, that is shining His light upon us, is going through that, that structure of letters that are describing the truth. So, in any situation that you want to connect yourself to Hashem, to the light, to the Chiyut, you need to connect yourself through the letters. And the letters are not for you now to, okay, I need to, what's the words? What's the right word? No, don't get psychotic about it. Get honest about it. You need to understand what really happened and say the truth and then pray to Hashem on the truth, an honest prayer. Tell Hashem, I need help in this and that. I need help in my shalom bayit, in my marital peace. I need help with my financials, with money. Please, Hashem, I need help with my children that I'll be able to tell them so and so. Say the truth. I have an issue with my fears, with my pressure, with my anxieties. I'm stuck without money to pay my rent. Or I do have, and thank you, Hashem, for allowing me to pay the rent. To say the truth is the key. Because like we said before, Hashem is close to everyone that calls Him with truth. And the truth is the connection to reality, what really goes on in reality. And when you connect yourself to Hashem through truth, by praying words of truth on the true reality, you are finding the shortest way to connect yourself to infinity, to Hashem, to the blessed source of everything. And what that I wanted to say, I haven't even started, and all of that was only a introduction, preparation for that talk. I wanted to explain that yesterday in a certain vision I had, a huge vision I had, I saw how 
after all those long descriptions of our reality, all of that is being included in the letter Yud. And then after I saw the letter Yud, that everything is included in the letter Yud, that Yud is the wisdom, Yud is, is like a spring of water, that all rivers are coming out of that huge source of water, water from the depths of, of Mimayna Yeshua, from the springs of salvation, that is the great light of the letter Yud, the light that the world is enjoying from. So when I realized that, I was took to see things even from higher angle, and that letter Yud was only one letter out of a greater, greater combination that in any one of those letters as well, worlds on worlds on worlds depends and infinity is like in front of our eyes, just we're too blind to see. May Hashem bless us with great light, with great shine, with great beautiful happiness in this Shabbat. In this Shabbat we have Bar Mitzvah for our child Nachman and Bezat Hashem blessings and greatness to all of you guys around the world will shine upon you, will heal you, will protect you from within and to all your loved ones blessings and great wishes. Shabbat Shalom.